thanks for stopping by. Um, so today we're going to make these beautiful earrings. I'm calling these, uh, these are peacock earrings. They remind me of peacock feathers. They're absolutely stunning. Very easy project. Okay, so we're going to need an ear wire. Well, we'll need two. I'm using 11 -0 beading needles, some scissors to cut my thread. Uh, this is a four millimeter bead. You can use any one. This is a 6-0 bead. Uh, here we have a three millimeter faceted bead. This is an 8-0 bead. Here's an 11 -0. I'm using turquoise in both, and a 15 -0 bead, which I'm going to use the silver. Wildfire is the thread I used. I used the frost color, as you can see. So just pull the length that you're comfortable with working. I used an arm stretch, uh, stretch my arms out both sides. That's how I measure it, and that usually works. That actually is a little too much, but that's okay. Thread your needle. There you go. Okay, and we're going to start by picking up an 8 that 4 millimeter bead of your choice, and another 8 and go ahead and pull that down your thread. And then we're going to need 25 of the 11 beads. Get those on and pull those down to join those other beads that we already threaded. And we're at the end of our thread here. So we're going to make, pull it into a circle and make two knots. There you go. Make sure it's tight. And then we're going to take our needle and we are going to work our way through the 11 0 through that four millimeter, or excuse me, through the 8 0, through the four millimeter, and through the next 8 0, and then through the first 11 0. I'll try and keep these things straight. Okay, and cut that tail off. All right, so here we're going to start our peyote stitch. So go ahead and grab another 11 0. You're going to skip the next 11 0 and then go through the next bead. All right, grab an 11 0, skip one, go through the next bead. Again. And you do want to make sure you're pulling these tight as you do them. This is going to be a key factor in creating these earrings. You really want to pull these tight. All right, so grab an 11 0, skip one, go through the next one. And again. And we're going to just continue up until we reach the end there. Okay, so that's that's us done with that stitch. So now we're going to work our way into position. We need to go through this 8 here. And now we're going to create our loop for our ear wire. So we're going to grab three of the 11 O's, the three millimeter, and then four 11 O's and pull that down. just like this. And then you're going to take your needle and go through the three millimeter faceted. Again, you can use whatever beads you want here. Um, I just like the faceted. And pull those 11 O's into a formation, like a little square there. And then we're going to grab three more 11 O's and we're going to go through the next 8 O, just like that. And then go ahead and take your needle and we're going to work into position to add our next stitch. Going through these 11 O's and we're going to need to step up. There we go. Okay. So add a bead, go skip one, go through the next. We're continuing with our peyote. In the end, you're going to end up doing three rounds of the 11 0 beads. So this is our third pass with the 11 0s. Well, the first one was to create the loop and then two additional passes, so three total. So grab an 11 0, skip a bead and go through the next one. There you 
you go. Keep going just like this. This is our peyote stitch. Grab one bead, skip the next bead and go through the next. There you go. Grab an 11 0 skip a bead, go through the next. Grab an 11 0 skip a bead, and go through the next. And there we are. And do remember to pull the work tight as you're going through it. Okay, so now we need to take our needle and work our way over to the next, to the opposite side. So we're going to go up through our loop that we've created for our ear wire. And I'm only going to the point where the three millimeter bead is, so I don't need to go any further. And then I'm going down, I'm not going through the three millimeter, I'm just going up through the 11 O's and then back down the other side. And then we're going to take our needle and work our way through the beads to get into position to add our next row. All right, now we're going to now add the 8 o beads. So here we go with our first 8 o And again, we're just doing the peyote, peyote stitch, uh, skipping a bead and going through the next bead. So there you go. Grab a bead, skip a bead, go through the next. Pull your work tight. There you go, just continue in the same manner. These earrings are a lot of fun to make. A very, a very quick project too. This shouldn't take you too long to make a set of these. Go, especially once you get the hang of it. All right, continue with the peyote. We're starting to see it take shape. Pulling it tight. All right, grab another bead, skip a bead, go through the next bead. There you go. Okay. So once again, we need to work our way back to the other side. And just so you know, these, these beads will get tight because we're gonna be going through them a couple of times. So at, at some point, we'll have to reroute and take another path, and I'll show you how to do that. So go up through, we can still go through these beads, so let's do it. Go up through the C3 uh, 11 O's there, and then go back down the other side, and you're going to get into position to add our next row. And if your beads do get kind of uh, full and you're having a hard time pulling the needle through, you can always use a pair of pliers to gently pull that needle through. It does help. Okay, so here we go. Through that first 8 o So we're going to add two rows of the 8 o's. So we did three rows of the 11 o's. Now we're going to do two of the 8 o's. We've got one in place, so we need one more row. So pick up another 8 o Go through the next bead. again, pulling it tight as you go. And there you go, one more. Pick up an 8 go through the next bead, and again, pick up an 8 go through the next. So you're skipping a bead and going through the next, just like we've done all along. 
And see how I'm using my thumb when I pull it tight? I'm putting my thumb there and that kind of helps it to take the shape I'm going for. There you go. And another 8 -0. And then we go with our last 8 -0. And pull that tight. All right, once again, we're going to work our way to the other side of the piece so we can do our next stitch. You just have to gauge these beads to see at what point you really can't go through them anymore. And you'll see uh, at some point I have to reroute because there's just no way to go through the beads that I've been using anymore. All right, so continue working my way up. All right, and I'm going to go through this four millimeter this time since I've gone the other way many times and my beads are getting tight. So we'll try a new route and then I'm going to cut over to where I want to be to get into position. So there we are. I'm coming out of the first 8 -0. I need to go through that second 8 -0. and that will put me to where I need to be to add another stitch. Okay, so pick up a 6 so and go through, skip a bead, go through the next bead. Alright, pick up another 6 so skip a bead, go through the next. And again. And again. Pick up a 6 0, skip a bead, go through the next. And let's add that last 6 0. There we are. Pull it tight. Make sure you're pulling it tight as you work through the process. Okay, let's go up through these 8 0 beads here on the end. I think it's time that we try a different route. We're starting to get tight in all those beads. So let's work our way down through these 8 -0, oh, excuse me, 11 -0 beads. And then we're going to work our way back up. We're just trying to get into position so we can start another stitch. So we're going to start the stitch on this side this time instead of going to the other side to start the stitch. Just simply because our beads are really impassable at this time up at the top. All right, there we go. So now we're able to go down and be in two position where we can add another row of the 6-0 beads. And you may need to use your pliers to pull that needle through. Just be careful not to break a bead. That's kind of what we're trying to avoid here is um, pulling a needle through a bead that's too tight will break it. And that's very frustrating. Okay, so there we go. We're coming out. So let's go through this 6 0 bead here. All right, and we're going to pick up another 6 0. And we're going to go through the next 6 0. Skipping a bead in the middle. Pulling it tight as we go. Picking up a bead. Going through the next bead. Pulling it tight. Picking up a 6 0, skipping one, going through the next 6 0, and pulling it tight. And 
and picking up another 6 so going through the next 6 so and pulling it tight. We're starting to really see this take shape. All right, and once again, going through and pulling it tight. So there you go. There's So we did three rows of the 11 O's, two rows of the 8 O's, and two rows of the 6 O's. So now we need to get into position one more time. This will be our last time. So once again, I'm working my way down through the 11 O's there on the side, and then I will work my way back up and then I will be in position to be able to go down through the beads and add another row. And just, you can do this any way you want really. You just want to be able to work your way so that you are back into position, coming out the way you need to be coming out to add another row of beads. We're going to go through that 6 so and then we should be in position now to add our final row. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, love these. Love these earrings. Okay, very Art Deco. All right, so we're going to grab a 15 millimeter, or 15 o, a 3 millimeter, and a 15 o, and that order, and then we're going to go through the next 6 o. Pulling it tight, and then once again, 15 o, 3 millimeter, 15 o, skipping a bead, and then going through the next 6 o. There we go, 15 o, 3 millimeter, 15 o. Once again, all right, picking up another set of beads, skipping the next bead, and then going through the 6 so there on the end. So that should be our last one. So we're coming out the one 6 so we're in between the six, in between those two 6 so's. This is a great place to tie our knot. So go under the thread bridge and then pull it through to create a loop. And then take your needle and go through the loop and pull that tight. And let's go ahead and do 3 of these. So that's one. Let's do another under the thread bridge, pull it down till it creates a loop, take your needle, go through the loop, and pull tight. And let's go one more time just for good measure. And we're doing this in between our 6 o's so we can hide the knots. This will very easily hide the knots between those be big beads. All right, so take your needle and go through the next 6 o. We've got our knots done. And then up through those 8 O's. And there we go. Let's cut the thread. We're done with that. All right, isn't that beautiful? I love these earrings. Okay, let's add an ear wire. So take your pliers, hold it on one side, take the other plier on the other side, and let's twist that little loop to open, just like so and then we're going to add it the correct direction um, to our ear wire right there, or excuse me, to our loop for our ear wire, and then close that, that little uh, loop on the ear wire and you're done. You have created a gorgeous set of earrings. Absolutely love these earrings. If you guys enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.